subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the Bartley's single digit classification. Introduction to this and the entire procedure will be discussed. Also, if you want this PPT, then you can go check out my website. This PPT is available there along with many other notes. So let's get started. This technique was developed by Harry Batley. Uh, there's double T here. And it was developed in the year 1930. This technique or the, this classification is better than the 10 digit classification that was given by Henry because 10 digit classification required all the prints, all the prints that are present on the 10 finger fingers of your hand or the 10 digits. But this is not exactly possible because the chances that the culprit is going to leave the prints present on each and every finger on the crime scene is very less. So we needed some other technique that could help us classify even when some prints are available. So this technique is for single digit. So this technique can be used even when one particular print, one particular fingerprint is present on the crime scene. Now, uh, this uses a special magnifying glass with reticules. So this here in the picture, this is a normal magnifying glass that is used for visualizing prints. But, in, but for this classification, we use a special type of magnifying glass that has reticules like this. Now, this particular print will be present over here like this. Alright. Like this. So, this has been enhanced over here. So, what uh, is present on that surface is there are concentric circles and these circles have different radius like the first one that uh, in the middle we have a there's a dot in the center so we have a dot and then comes the first circle that is this one and the radius is 3 mm in this case then comes the other circle and the radius for that one is 5 centimeter then there's 7 oh i'm so sorry i'm saying centimeter it's mm there's then comes 9 mm, then comes 11 mm, and then comes 13 and 15, right? And also these concentric circles are also named like A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So that's how Batley's magnifying glass looks like. Now let's see the procedure. So what we do is the prints that are to be classified, they are printed, right? So we print these fingerprints and the dimensions are going to be 3 inch into 5 inch and uh, so we print a 3 into 5 inch card then the dot is placed on the code now like for example this is the fingerprint right if this is the fingerprint then what we here this is the core area right in the center this core area is placed over here at the center all right then what we do is we see the area on which the delta falls this is the delta so like for example if we have put our fingerprint here then we see where is the delta falling in this case delta is falling on this particular concentric circle so that is how we classify these prints but there is a limitation for this process the limitation is that it cannot be used for arches why because it does not have any delta arches simply goes like this right there is no delta formation in walls there is delta also in loop there is delta loops also have delta but arches do not have any delta so since there is no delta we won't be able to count the number of concentric circles and this technique won't be of any use so this was all about batley single digit classification i hope that you understood it please like share and subscribe to my channel share it with your friends so that they can also get the knowledge that you have just got thank you